In this video, we're looking at vectors. So we've got some column vectors here. So I've got five different column vectors here and five different well vectors drawn on the grid. And we're going to match the column vectors to the vectors on the grid. So to read a column vector, we've got on the top, we've got the movement in the x direction. So the top number is movement in the x direction. So if it's positive, so this is three positive three, that's three to the right. If it's a negative, so the negative five here, that's five to the left. So right is positive, and left is negative. And the second number is movement in the y direction. So a positive number in the y direction means we're going up, and a negative number in the y direction means we're going down. So let's pick one of these column vectors here, so minus 5, 4. So the top number is movement in the x direction, so it's going back 5 in the x direction, so 5 to the left. The second number's movement in the y direction, and it's positive, so it's up 4, 4 up. So this is 5 left, 4 up. So which of these vectors goes 5 to the left and 4 up? I think that's D. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4 up. So D is minus 5, 4. Okay, the second one here, we've got 3, negative 2. So we're 3 to the right, down 2. So the first number's the X, second number's the Y. So 3 to the right and down 2. So that's B. Minus 4, minus 6. So it's 4 left, 6 down. So 4 left, 6 down. That's C. So 4 left, 6 down. Minus 6, minus 2. That's 6 to the left and 2 down. So that's E, and the one left, 3 to the right, 5 up, must be A. Okay, so a different type of question here. We've got A, vector A, is the movement, 3 along, 5 up. Vector B is the movement, 4 left, 2 up. And we can add or subtract vectors like this just by adding along the columns. So the first one says A plus B. So we're going to do 3, 5 plus minus 4, 2. So we can look at the X direction first. So if we went 3 to the right and then 4 to the left, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So in total, we've gone 1 to the left. And for the y direction, 5 plus 2 is 7. So if we go 5 up and then 2 up, in total, we've gone 7 up. Okay, part B says 2 A's. So we're going to go 2 A's. So we're going to do A twice. And then we're going to do 3 B's. We're going to do B three times. So we're going to have 2 of these three fives and then we're going to have three of these minus four twos so two three fives two of these we can just double it so that will be six ten so two times three is six two times five is ten three minus fours are minus twelve and three twos are six so if we did 3, 5 twice, we'll have 6 minus 10. Along to the right 6, up 10. If we did minus 4, 2, so left 4, up 2, 3 times, we're going to go left 12, up 6. And we're going to add these together. So we're going to the right 6, and then to the left 12. So 6 minus 12 is minus 6. And we're going up 10 and up 6 which is up 16. And 3a's minus b. 
So we have three of the A's minus the B. So three of the A's, three threes are nine, three fives are 15. Minus the B. So going along the top, nine take away minus four. So nine minus minus four is actually 13. And 15 minus two on the bottom is 13. Okay, here's another question. So pause the video, try and give this one a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, the first one, A plus B. So we're just going to add the top and add the bottom. So minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. 5 and 2 makes 7. Second one, two A's and three B's. So you've got two of A and you've got three of B, which is minus six, 10, plus minus three, six. And then just add the top, add the bottom. Minus six minus another three is minus nine. 10 plus six is 16. And finally, three A's minus B. So we've got three of the minus three fives minus the minus one, two. So three A's is three minus threes are minus nine, three fives are 15. So we've got minus nine, 15, and we're gonna take away the minus one, two. So along the top, minus 9 minus minus 1, so minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8, and 15 minus 2 on the bottom, so 13.